Hello there guys, this is Chris from Blast Process with a new guide. This is a part two, or I suppose it's a sequel to a, a previous guide I did. Uh, a couple of months back I showed everyone how to build a space shuttle-like craft. It had all the uh, same staging and flight characteristics of the actual NASA space shuttle. Only it did not look like a NASA space shuttle because none of the parts were available to do that. But now they are, and uh, this is the Mark III. Let me, uh, where is it? It is the Mark III cockpit. Uh, it, all the entire Mark III range has had an overhaul uh, reasonably recently, and uh, including open cargo bays. So I'm going to show you today, using the same techniques as last time, how to build a Mark III shuttle rather than the Mark II shuttle. So this one not only will fly like the actual shuttle, but it will look like the actual shuttle as well. So, for anyone who knows how this shuttle works in real life, it does not have fuel on board. This is straight away different to my previous design. Instead it's going to use these. These are monopropellant tanks, uh, which powers the RCS system. Uh, now, the actual shuttle doesn't call it that, it calls it the OMS, Orbital Maneuvering System, and it uses, it does actually have uh, fuel and oxidizer but it's totally different like the main engine uses liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen and then once in space it uses two totally different fuels and then the entire operate uh, system in space it just powers two little engines which are on like nice cells i think they're called up on the top but we're going to ignore that for now so that's going to be our fuel engines um so obviously we're going to need the main engines and we're going to have three just like the actual shuttle so we're going to go one, um, X, and we're going to go one in the center. So it's going to be a three-shaped one. Um, if you hold out while clicking on something, that allows you to copy and paste it. That's just so people know. It was certain questions people asked me about my last video. Um, and I've also created a sub-assembly, which is already waiting, called wings. Uh, now, when you build wings, this is a quick tip. Build them so they all connect to one central wing. Rather than connecting each wing to the body, if you build them so they connect to one separate wing, you can move the whole wing assembly as one, like this here. So you press X to enable that. And then, again, another thing people ask me, if you hold Shift and then use the QWEASD keys, it allows you to move it very gently. Uh, the other way of doing it now is with these new things, you can do offset and rotate. And again, if you hold shift while doing this, it shift, it does it in small steps rather than large steps. So that is the basic design. So I'm going to go back to the, I'm going to put a tail on. I believe it's this one. Yep. So again, we just want one tail. And we want some... never get that right first go. Come on, there we are. So that is the tail. And uh, now, okay, so let's get the engines on because we need to get the weight balance right now. So for this shuttle, because this is going to be pretty heavy going into space, we're going to use the skippers. Now if we can get the X, there we go. Oh, wrong button. No, we need to get it to attach to that. So if you hold Alt, you lock on when I'm trying to fix it onto things. It's not quite perfect, but like that, I can't. It's not want to. Oh, I had it then. Uh, is that it? That's it. If you hold Alt when pressing it, it will lock on much easier. So then we'll grab this. We're just going to centre them a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty good. And now this is purely just for decoration. This is going to allow us to hide the horrible join a bit better. It's also going to provide us a little bit of control. Not a huge amount, but you know, it could make the difference. But it will hide the horrible join once these start to move. So this is the basic shuttle design. So what you're going to do now, sensor thrust, sorry, you don't need sensor thrust now. You need mass and lift. So as before, this needs to be as far forward as possible, and this needs to be back, but you don't want them too far apart, otherwise you create a very wobbly design. So actually there, we're not looking too bad. You also have to remember, the only time 
the wings lift and the control maneuverability comes into play. So when it's landing, and when we're landing, we don't have as much fuel. So if we remove the fuel, this actually moves forward. So that's good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this. We're going to, in our first, so I'm going to do this video in two parts because it's going to be quite complex. Um, for now, inside, we're going to run it empty. I'm going to place two of those on like so. So for those who have seen an actual shuttle in real life or have seen pictures of them, um, one of the things you will note is that almost every shuttle since I'm not sure when has got this big airlock system on the inside. Now they never used to all have this. This is something that was added later on. It has uh, docking clamps on it and uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, obviously we don't need, We could. I could have put a crew module in there, but these, these will actually come in handy for all sorts of things. So that's how they're going to be Uh, we need that back, so yeah, that should do it. Okay, so we're going to close up. That will also provide us much more stability as well, having uh, the pair of those things in there. In fact, let's just open it. Before we uh, do anything else, we're going to attach... Uh, I don't see it. It's in there somewhere. There it is. It's going to attach one of these generators. Uh, we'll attach it. I'll attach it there. Just, uh, just in case, so we don't run out of power when we uh, least expect it. Uh, so for now, we don't need any orbital maneuver systems because for now we're just going to test the balance. So we need to put a new wheel on the front. Oh, hang on, let's get a fresh one. Okay, so it's a ship, a spaceship, an aeroplane, rather. At this point, we're just going to test its aeroplane capabilities. At right now, it looks a lot like the shuttle. Will it fly like a shuttle? I doubt that very much. But it's never going to fly without engines, because these engines do not have fuel that will power them. So there are two ways of doing that. This is the way I'm going to go with. Grab this. Centre them on your ship. Uh, ideally around the centre of mass, because that way it won't make any difference. You are going to grab... Um, where is it? A couple of fuel tanks. Strap them on like so and fuel it in. So what we're going to do... Oh, no. So this is now provided fuel for these engines. So these engines will now be fueled. And we're going to push it up. Okay, so we're going to save that. And we're going to launch. So we're going to just see what actually happens here. For all I know, the whole thing could explode. So the plan is I'm going to use... Uh, okay, so... Right, so I'm going to need some struts to get this thing working. Whoa. Okay, so it flies. So that's good. <laughs> wow, okay, so the fuel is not going to provide anywhere near. Oh, wow, yeah, those wings are flappy as hell. Okay, so engine's off. Dump the fuel tanks. Okay, so now we are doing what the shuttle was designed to do. Wow, this... Uh... This is terrible. We have control. We have lift. Um, the wings are all over the place, so they need strutting in. Okay, I'm not going to turn around to get back to the runway. But can I land? Gear down. Okay. So it's 60 meters per so 70 meters per second, I should say. I am actually producing a fair amount of lift. Oh, okay, so revert flight. So we need more wings, but we need more wings that are not going to affect this in. Right, so for one thing, I'm going to put a couple of extra fuel tanks on. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm not going to put more fuel tanks on. Hang on let's remove that. I wonder if jets are the way to go. Tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll do a little bit of redesign and I'll come back to the video. Okay, so as you can see, we now have four jet engine outriggers, uh, just some liquid fuel intakes, jets. Um, I've added struts to attach the wings on and a couple of extra winglets. So they are currently 
They're not going to change the silhouette of the ship. They're not really affecting it in any way. Just provides just that little bit of extra lift. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is because when this lands it will have next to no fuel, I'm going to remove all the fuel from the rear tanks. So that might also help a bit. I'll keep the weight down. So, testing. Autopilot on. And fire. So the, obviously these engines are nowhere near as powerful as they were when these things were firing. So speeding up. Let's get to, so it's 60. No, that's not going to launch. 100. Oh, yeah, okay. So we read it into the air at 100. Uh, it already feels much, much better. You know what? I might even be able to turn around and come back for the runway for this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself into a position very similar to the position I'd be in if I was making an actual landing. We have tons of fuel to perform this. Okay, here we go. This is looking pretty good. So, engines off. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna dump them. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, here we go. That's fine. Right. So gear down. So we are coming in now, completely dead stick. We have no fuel. Uh, we're going to keep our speed up. We're actually going way quicker. We were only at 60 meters per second last time. We're now nearly double. 115. We are actually slightly off centre, but we can fix that. So the actual shuttle comes in incredibly steeply. And that is because it is the most unaerodynamic thing you've ever seen in your life. It's not designed to fly. But you know what? I think... I think this is looking good. This is looking very good. Perfect. Okay, so uh, that is the orbiter designed and built. So we now know that with an empty bay and 90% of the fuel gone, this shuttle is capable of coming in for a glide and landing. So uh, that's it for part one. Part two will be building the fuel tank and the boosters and uh, teaching you how to get it into space. I will see you then.